I was already praying for Texas anyway. I really didn't know that he was going to be caught up in it. Never once thought it would be me in the water. You don't see it on TV, your people water hitting, you know. No, 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 not me. A trucker stranded by the rising flood water, spotted by one of our reporters. Tonight, their reunion weeks in the making. It was a remarkable moment. Many of you saw live on KHU 11 or on social media. Our Brandy Smith noticed a truck driver trapped in his cab, so she flagged down rescuers. Tonight, the reunion between Brandy and the man she helped save. I didn't know his name when I spotted him in the cab, but I do now. It's Robert Roberson, and I've since been able to visit with him and his wife in Mississippi. I've learned that he's a good man with strong faith who is very thankful that so many people were in place to pull him out of that water. When our roads became rivers, stories of loss, of pain and survival emerged with the raging water. Then I'm so happy you're okay. came a hug so powerful. Where will you go now? We wanted to relive it. Which takes us to Durant, Mississippi. Robert Roberson's home. When it's not on the road. Never once thought it would be me in the water. You don't see it on TV, your people water hitting, you know. Never, no, not, not me. The morning of August 27th, Robert called his wife, Virginia. The weather down here is, you know, it getting real bad. You know, something going on here, pray for me. I was already praying for Texas anyway. I really didn't know that he was going to be caught up in it. Virginia's Sunday school lesson that day called for those extra prayers. I always pray for him. When he leave, when he's not here, Every time I get on my knees, I pray for him. While she was getting settled in church, there's movement inside of this truck. Robert um, was getting into trouble. The windshield wipers are going. The water on the road just kept rising. We're, we're talking more than 10 feet high. And before he knew it, the current is strong. He was in it. The water hit me. Robert lived this story, but hadn't watched it like so many all over the world had. I've never seen myself. I don't know what's there is now water filling his cab. That's him after dropping his lifeline, his phone, on the floor of his cab. I'm sorry, just a moment. On a bridge above him? Catastrophic. Well, that's me. KHOU's building flooded, forcing everyone to evacuate. I've lost um, my communications. The last live shot up was this one. Mario, just me and photojournalist Mario Sandoval. What are they telling us? I couldn't talk to our anchors or get any direction from producers, but I could see something, someone moving in that flooded truck. Tasked with telling the story of Houston and Harvey, the next chapter looked like it could take a tragic turn. Then, out of nowhere, we have a boat coming, we have a boat coming. A miracle. I'm gonna flag these guys down. Maybe a prayer answered. Hold on just a second. There's a truck driver stuck here in about 10 feet of water. Thank you. The sheriff department just pop up out the blue, like everybody just popping up out the blue. Hopefully we can get down to this guy. There's a boat here. Getting the boat to the truck took what seemed like a lifetime. Here they come. In the end, <laughs> it was just in time to save a life. Office now approaching Coming to get me, Virginia. Now they are here saving this man's life, and I'm sure he's very, very wet, very cold, very frightened. And here he comes. Thank you. Sir, thank God you're okay. How does it feel to be on land? Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. What went through your mind when you saw that water? Lord help me, Lord help me. Like thousands of others in those drenched days, Robert's story moved to a shelter. But finally, a week after she sent up those prayers, Virginia saw them deliver right back in Durant. Just thank God, cause you know, you know, it could have been another way. But it didn't. Thanks to Virginia's prayers, rescuers' courage, a hug, so happy you're okay. and another hug. Can I get a hug? <laughs> That's so yes, we thank God. But. Robert's story is now one of gratitude and hope. Robert tells me he really wasn't scared throughout the whole ordeal. He didn't even have time to think about it because he was so focused on finding his phone. He didn't think about what might have happened if the deputies hadn't shown up until after. He says he tries not to think about that. And he did mention that he still has dreams about that water rising. 
Now you might notice the skyline behind me is not Houston skyline. I'm actually in New York City. I'm going to be on CBS this morning, tomorrow morning to talk about everything that Houston and our community has been through since Harvey. In New York, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News. Thanks so much, Brandy. Now, Robert had to leave his GPS in the truck, so it was destroyed. And a lot of you at home pointed out that his Bluetooth headset was an older model. So we got him a new GPS and Bluetooth so he can be safe as he heads back out on the road. Quite a story. And again, you can watch Brandy on CBS this morning when she'll share Houston's story with the entire country, shining a light on our city as we heal and recover from Harvey, the trucker rescue and reunion. CBS This Morning starts at 7 a.m. right here after KHU 11 News this morning.